Here's a Holmes Heat Safe HS400 1500 watt ceramic heater, complete with box and instruction manual. This was also given to me by my dad. He has no idea where this one or the previous one came from, which is a little odd. This one also, interestingly enough, has a problem. Let's just uh, take a look at, uh, see if there's any... Yeah, this was the one that didn't have any stickers. It just has this sticker here, caution, and the Spanish version. And, oh, it does have it. It's printed here. Maybe you can read that. So there's that. I was looking all over for that too. Anyway, here it is. And this one, like I said, also has a problem. We'll put the fan on. And that uses about 20 watts. 19.9, 20, somewhere in there. No problem. Lights on, thermostats all the way up. We'll kick it to low. Temperature goes up. I mean, the wattage goes up, pardon me, and I guess the temperature also. This is a 1500 watt heater. Kind of slow. And it looks like we're going to settle around 185 ish, maybe. Okay, 183, 184 on low. Air here is cool. Air here is sort of warm. Cool over here, warm over here. Probably have a bad element or connection to it. If we go to high. This should be 1500 watts, like I said. And you'll see that we're nowhere near that. I'll come back when that settles down. About 405, 406 watts. Somewhere in there. It'll vary a little. And again, here it's slightly warm. Here it's much warmer than before. But still nowhere near the heat output. It's sort of lukewarm at best. Is really all we get. And that is certainly not pulling what it's supposed to be pulling. So it's time to open it up. Okay, just makes it. Hopefully it'll work that way for the top also. I expect it should due to the contour of it. Well, this one's gonna be a little bit of a problem because the cord is in the way. And going to need another screwdriver for that. Take these out in the meantime. And I have actually a pair of linesman's pliers that we can use temporarily. So I'm too lazy to get a screwdriver. Let's see if that loosened up enough. Nope. right in the other room. And it won't just fit on there enough. There. Sometimes you can improvise with the tools you have. Let's see if that'll do. Might have to pull the knobs, but I'm not sure. Nope. Um, okay. Oh, there is some dust in here. Yeah, quite a bit. Wonderful good stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one has certainly uh, lived its day. Woof! Can you see the uh, the thermostat? 
What is this? I might have to blow this out before I go on because it's just too, too grody. Oh. You see what I see? I see a shitty connection. It doesn't mean it's good or bad, it just means it's not great. Let me blow the dust out of this. I got all four screws out. Yuck. Let me get the dust out of this and we'll continue on. It's cool enough to touch. pull it out somewhat but of course the cord strain relief there we go so the fan was bound up with bust dunnies that fell off yikes but it otherwise spins free it, it ran before we know but uh, yeah that that would be your problem right there whether that was already broken or had broken off now that it was moved, I don't know, but my goodness. Wow, that thing is fucking cooked. Black, complete disgustingness. Oh. I'm going to have to get a needle nose plier to get that off at best. So, yeah, I have to get other tools, as you would expect. So, I don't think the uh, linesman's pliers are going to do the trick. Let's see if I can sort of. Oh, it's just crumbling. Holy crap! This is not good. This whole connector is fucking toast. Look at that. Holy shit. That is not good. Well. I'm just trying to scrape off some of the crap on there. Of course, if I just connect something to it, it's not going to be any good. The wire stripper. Can I improvise to cut this with this? Yep. Can I strip the wire with this? Yep. Wire looks to be serviceable. I'm going to do something that is very unorthodox, very unsafe, but, you know, for the safety third guy, of course. I'm just going to get an alligator clip wire and attach it to that. And um, just look at the watt meter and see what happens. Um, and then we'll see about cleaning it up and getting it reconnected. Well, green means go, right? So we'll do that. I'm going to attach it over here to kind of a shitty part of it that's not quite touching that. Just, just in case. I don't even know if it's going to make connection. Um... Where can I put this? Where was the damn plug? Here. Alright, it's off, so we'll start with that. There, that's in frame now. I'll just hold it. So we'll do the fan. About the same as before. And just for a moment. Two, three, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, four hundred watts. So that's the problem right there. 
I think this should be able to handle that. Yeah, it's getting a tiny bit warm, but nah, not a big deal. So this should be a pretty easy repair. Um, to clean that up, I think I'm just going to get the little grinder wheel on the Dremel and we'll give that a shot. This is not the preferred method. Don't do this at home. Do it at a friend's house. Looks clean enough to me. So, yeah, not too bad. It's got a little burr on it, but whatever. Let's get a connector and uh, put that on the wire. <laughs> 